This message is for the collective. It's a timeless message. I hope it resonates. Take what you need, leave the rest. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every last one of you, okay? Happy New Year, okay? This is going to be a Happy New Year reading for the collective, okay? It's timeless. Message for the collective, please, for the Happy New Year, for their Happy New Year. We got the strength card. We need. We all need to be stronger, okay? Personal power and assertiveness, okay? Being very, very compassionate. I think all of us need a little strength in our lives, okay? Collective message for the new year, okay? We got the Six of Cups, okay? Finding strength in love, okay? Or you will be finding strength in love. Oh, we also renewal, I see renewal this could be a renewal of a relationship coming for you or you or somebody you'll meet will make you feel brand new okay 2021 oh well, we got the ten of cups got released okay okay give me one more card i see one more card for the collector for their new year please spirit and we got the three of uh pinnacles okay so it looks like Overall energy, um, it, it looks like 2021, almost as if the universe wants you to release this ex. If you have somebody from your past who who keeps coming back to you, you may need to release them, okay? Uh, because cause we got the release card here, okay? The universe wants to send you a perfect 10, not anything in between, so you're going to have somebody who is perfectly perfect for you, okay? This is, like I said, you may have somebody who, want, who wants to come back to renew the, to, to renew your relationship with them. Universe, and they may want to tell you, I want to work at this. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Let's work on this situation. But I don't think that, that the universe spirit wants you to do that. I think that the universe wants you to release that person, okay? Uh, because we got something better for you. We got something a whole hell of a lot better for you. And the universe wants you. This is a it also, this could be an opportunity for money and income. Maybe this is this relationship is going to be so good, you're going to be abundantly blessed as far as being in a relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be financial. Okay. Or it could be this person could be very financially stable too. That's why the universe wants you to release that jerk from your past or whoever, girl, male or female. Okay. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations are people that hold you back, okay? Got to release that person. If if and when that person tries to come back to you from the past, I'm not interested. No, thank you. There's something else I want to put in my cup, and it's not you, okay? Got to let them go. They want to come back and work on it. Don't. Find, do, do, look, too. Find the strength collective to... to Make sure, you be, make sure you're strong within yourself enough to say, no, thank you. I no longer want you or desire or require you in my life, okay? I don't need you. Messages for 2021 for the collective, please, Spirit. It's quite flipped out. Because, you know, you got to remember, got the three of cups here. That person you were with in the past probably cheated on you. Now, all of a sudden, they want to come back because they're done cheating. I'm done with those ho hoish ways that I had when we were together. I'm done. Well, it's too late now, bro. Mm -mm. Release. We got the six of cups. We got release. And we got the three of cups. The six of cups, that person's coming back from your past. The release card is in the middle reminding you why that person left you in the first place because they were fucking around because we got the three of cups dancing around chilling and villain being a villain screwing around and all that other kind of shit we got the ten of cups okay but we also have the sun card the universe is telling you look i got something for you i got somebody for you that's going to be for you and only you but you got to be willing to accept this this ten of cups this happy home this blessed relationship i got the sun card for you i got somebody for you who you would not believe Somebody who's going to turn your darkness into night overnight. You got to allow this person into your life, collective. We're going to do some reading around the sun card and the ten of cups to see what messages we have for you. Ten of cups and the sun card. What will, will this relationship be like in 2021, this new relationship? Okay. Message for the collective with this new person, please, with this happy, a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, okay? Everything in your life is going to be so much better. A life in general in 2021 is going to be a so much better. You're going to have a happy relationship, happily ever afters, an emotionally contented relationship with this person. 
Uh, they're going to love your children, maybe have children with you, maybe having blended family, okay? People you can trust. Messages for the collector, please, for 2021. This seems to be a love reading. Hmm. Calling you your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations have brought you two together. I will. Because you're calling this person in and they're calling you in. 2021 is going to be the, the, the year of love. Okay. Messages for the collective for 2021, please. And we got, you know, give this relationship a chance. You know, work on, <clears throat> work on your partnership with this new person. Don't be afraid to show him or her how you feel. I'm not saying rush into it. Take your time, of course. But you're calling in this person, and they're calling you in. The sun is shining in both of you all's honor, okay? Okay, messages for the collective, please. 2021 love. And we have release your ex. I told you, release that punk ass bastard. You don't need him. You don't need her. They're going to try their damnedest to come back, to renew things, because they didn't screwed up the last relationship they were in after you. You got to release this person. If you, it's even if this person, you know, even right now, if you're feeling what's going on with him, I wonder, is he thinking about me? Or is she going to call me or hoping he's going to call you or her for the new year, whatever? Let it go. Let it go. You don't, you can do so much better. Okay. Let go of control issues. Don't try to, to will this person back into your life because I'm saying they're going to try to come back with you. That's because that's out of codependency on his end or yours, yours or hers. Take it how it resonates. You don't need this person. Okay. You got something better coming. Okay. Messages for the collective for 2021, please. Wedding. It's going to lead to marriage, chemistry, and flirt. Okay. So this situation is calling marriage. Could lead to a marriage for you. When you're going to meet the next person you meet. I won't say the next person you meet, but you'll know him or her when you see him. It's going to lead to marriage. You're going to have, you're going to be very, very, this person's going to be very, very charismatic, sexy. Maybe have some facial hair ladies, uh, you know, just a nice looking guy. Men, she may have long, dark hair or whatever. Nice, some men like legs, some men like booty, some some men like all of it. Who knows? Who cares? But this is going to be a person who you're, maybe you're going to be doing some mutually flirting with each other and everything is just going to fall into place. Everything's going to fall into place. But look, keep an open mind. They may diff be different than what you're used to seeing and vice versa. That's not my kind of chick, but I'm digging her. No, that's not my kind of dude, but something about him is special. You know, maybe totally different than what you're used to being with. But I tell you one damn thing, this person is worth waiting for. Worth waiting for, collective. Okay? Y'all have a happy new year. 2021. It's going to be on and popping with love.